The last time I watched a movie with game in the title, yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> I did not have fun with Gerald's game. Will Molly's game be more fun to watch than Gerald's game? Let's find out. <laughs> Hey there everybody, this is 22TigerDude here and I'm here to review Molly's Game. So Molly's Game is written and directed by Aaron Sorkin. This is Aaron Sorkin's directorial debut. The film stars Jessica Chastain, Idris Elba, Michael Cera, and Kevin Costner. So Molly's Game tells the true story of Molly Bloom who was an Olympic skier, but then things have turned around for her and now she ran this high stakes poker game for a decade before she got arrested by a bunch of FBI agents and when Molly Bloom is telling this whole entire story to her attorney, her attorney sees that there's more to Molly than what the tabloids are saying. So I was really looking forward to Molly Bloom for sure and it's also because not only is the story first of all very interesting, like I find this true story to just be really insane, but it is not only written by Aaron Sorkin, who has written screenplays like A Few Good Men, The Social Network, Moneyball, Steve Jobs, really great scripts, but this is his directorial debut. And so not only did I want to see how Aaron Sorkin was going to write the screenplay for such a crazy true story, but I wanted to see how he can do as a first time director. And Molly's Game, I can definitely say I thought was so damn good. <laughs> this movie is fantastic. And I just have to start off by saying that Aaron Sorkin's screenplay is definitely what really drives this film. I'll get to his direction in a little bit, but of course, as you can expect with Aaron Sorkin, the man knows how to write dialogue. Screenwriters have different ways of writing dialogue and Aaron Sorkin, the way he writes his dialogue, honestly, is truly fantastic. I was really riveted for so many scenes because this movie really is driven by dialogue, but so many scenes really just captivated me. And that's really thanks to how Aaron Sorkin wrote the dialogue. Like Molly Bloom is written so well how Aaron Sorkin told her story I just found to be so engaging. And obviously when you see these other players because Molly Bloom dealt with so many she dealt with movie stars, sports stars, and even the Russian mob. Molly Bloom actually dealt with the Russian mob, which is really crazy. When you see the way Aaron Sorkin writes all of these scenes and how it's all put together, it really is so impressive. And I do think it's one of the best screenplays of 2017. But now, as far as Aaron Sorkin's direction goes, I have to say he did an impressive job. Now, Aaron Sorkin, believe it or not, has not directed a film before. And it actually surprises me because he's been writing scripts for years. So the fact that Molly's Game is the first film he's ever directed is pretty surprising. But nonetheless, I will say he does do a great job directing this film. He really did take me into Molly's story. And like I said, because of the screenplay that he wrote, I just found myself so engaged, but it's also the way he takes me into the story with his camera work, I was honestly very impressed by it. Now, is he as good of a director as he is a screenwriter? I'm not quite ready to say that. He probably has to direct more movies before I'm ready to say that, but I could definitely say for his first time, his direction is very strong. It's definitely one of the most impressive directorial debuts of 2017. The cinematography in Molly's Game 2 really does look so beautiful. There's a lot of very professional shots that are very clean. The saturation also was very good. Never felt really choppy to me, to be honest. And as far as the performances, everyone brings in their A game. Every single person in Molly's Game is fantastic. Jessica Chastain is really great as Molly. How she portrayed Molly, just really made me get into her. I mean, Molly Bloom in real life is a very interesting person, but how Jessica Chastain just 
took on this person and portrayed her really was just so fascinating. She did not portray her in a one-dimensional fashion. It was definitely in a three-dimensional fashion that I can really admire. Chastain is brilliant at Molly's game. And it's seriously thanks to her that I was just so engaged with Molly's story. Someone else that was also really great in this film is Idris Elba, another really great actor. And it's no surprise when I bring him up and say, oh yeah, he's great because he's obviously proven many times to be a great actor. But he really does give a strong performance as Molly's attorney. And I really loved all those scenes with Molly and uh, her attorney. And then of course you do have Kevin Costner. And I am not going to reveal his role because the marketing does not tell you what his role was. Like, I had no idea what kind of role he was going to have when I went into this film because the marketing does not tell you what his role is. And then when you find out what his role is in Molly's game, you're just like, well, that's a very interesting role. All I'm going to say is, even though, yes, he is not in this movie a whole lot... For the scenes that he did have, they were great. Kevin Costner, really, even for a part that really wasn't that big, he really brought it. And it was shown in the trailer, but that scene with him and Molly, by far one of the best scenes in this entire film, as well as I think just one of the best scenes of 2017. That scene, without spoiling anything, was truly amazing. And then we do have Michael Cera as Player X, who I do think does a very, very good job in this film. I really liked him. I don't want to say anything more than that because you just have to really see the film for yourself to see what goes on. But I thought he was really good. And surprisingly, Chris O'Dowd shows up for a little bit. And I did really like him when he shows up. He actually adds a little bit of comic relief into the film. I mean, Chris O'Dowd's a funny guys so that's really no surprise but he does add a little bit of that comedic relief that I did think worked for Molly's game and I have to say as far as the style of Molly's game I just found the style of the film to be very energetic I really did like Jessica Chastain's narration well Molly obviously Molly Bloom's narration throughout the entire film I thought it worked for sure and I do think it made sense to have Molly's narration considering this movie is based on a true story of Molly Bloom and it is based off of a book that was written by Molly Bloom so it kind of made sense to really hear Molly's narration because this is her story after all so I did think it was a very clever use of narration Jessica Chastain also did a very great job with the narration with her attitude and the editing too I did like the editing with Molly's game especially when it came to the poker games the editing style when it came to those scenes were very very brilliant and although this movie is very energetic it does have moments plenty of moments I would say where it does get very dramatic and when the movie doesn't rely on being energetic and having all of these cool editing things going on it is really nice when it just focuses on being more dramatic and when we do get to the more dramatic side of things in this film it is really great and especially when we do get to the climax of this film it's really really riveting stuff and regarding the score from Molly's game it was very well done I actually did really like the score even the pacing for the most part I was honestly really into the film like this movie is two hours and 20 minutes long that's very lengthy but for the majority of that runtime, I really was really riveted by what was happening on screen. Now, in terms of flaws with Molly's game, this is where I get to the majority. I said how the majority of the runtime had me riveted. And that's because the movie did run a little too long, I felt at least. I do think maybe 15 minutes of the film could have been shaved off. I don't think it necessarily had to be 2 hours and 20 minutes. I think 2 hours and 5 minutes is honestly more suiting for this film. And I will say, regarding the tone of Molly's game, it's not the most perfect 
home. Now the tone isn't anything to make me very distracted, but in regards to the tone of Molly's game, for about a good maybe five minutes, it's so energetic, and then it drops and there's just conversations going on. Granted, very great conversations, not boring or anything, but it just stops. And then after like maybe 10 minutes of that, it's back to being energetic, more of Molly's narration. And then like five or eight minutes later, that all stops. And it's just more of the conversations. And then it goes back to being energetic. Like, so I will say the balance wasn't the most perfect thing with Molly's game, but like I said, it, it's not anything to take me out of it because I truly was into Molly's game. Overall, Molly's game is truly a fantastic movie. I love the performances. Jessica Chastain is truly great here, as well as Alba Costner and Sarah Dowd too. The editing was great. Aaron Sorkin for his first time directing the film is truly energetic when it is energetic at least but even when it's more calmer it is very well directed too and the poker scenes man i can't remember the last time i was so invested with poker scenes and movies those scenes were truly truly exciting to watch i'm gonna give molly's game three and a half out of four stars so you guys in the comments down below let me know what did you think about molly's game this is 20 to Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.